Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is going to be an in, or not an install, but a demo video for nine of you. Um, I've got nine of these done. This one in particular is for Norman. I just know because I have to do some uh, particular things to it before I send it off. But there are nine of you. I didn't want to do nine demos that were separate and then say the same thing. So we're going to do a little bit different. We're going to go over my long white picnic table thing that I have set up here in the back when I have large batches and we'll go over all nine of them. It was the only way for me to put all nine of them in the same frame and show you that each one of them fire up separately. So to all of you guys, thank you so much for your patience and for your support on this run. Um, this was a very cool run. Uh, it was something I've been working on, you know, since the beginning, probably for about eight months. It's winding down to a close now. I've just got two more of these to do for people that I'm waiting on parts for. And then, um, it's the end of the scrap tech run and then on to uh, a coda run that I've got coming that's kind of a pair to this but it's it's a bit shorter in length and then also a run that I'm doing with my boy Tim um, which is going to be our convergence run that will hit at the beginning of next year um, but for now let's go take a look at these nine sabers fire them up and then get them out in the mail to you guys uh, by tomorrow morning hopefully thanks All right, what's up guys? This is gonna be a little bit of a different setup. Um, I typically like to show off that I'm, uh, I'm demoing the actual Sabre. So there's no way for me to fit all nine of these over there where I usually do my demos on my desk. So we're just gonna do it on the old white table today because um, hopefully you can see, I try to make it in a way where you can see all nine of these are in frame. I do have to keep the handles to the particular saber. You can't mix those up or they won't line up properly. So we'll just start from here. We're gonna fire all these up. They're all done the same way. Um, they all have the same sound font on them. So this is from my buddy Keenan over at K-Sith. Um, if you haven't heard me talk about it a million times already, he did the actual scrap tech font for this particular saber. So they're all loaded with that. Um, they all have a copy of the config file on the SD card. So you can make any changes that you like with the exception of Norman. I'll be keeping his saber and doing something different to him or to that one. But all the rest are going to go out. Uh, I'm going to package them up and get them out in the mail tomorrow. Uh, it'll take me the rest of the day really to package all these up how I want to and then get them all boxed up and everything. And then uh, with the exception of this guy right here, this one belongs to Dylan because he had a particular request for a black chassis the rest of you got a mix between um they're all carbon fiber chassis but it's a mix between gray and the red that i like to use because i thought the red went very nicely with this particular saber though dylan wanted black so dylan there your yours is right here but we're going to go first on this one right here all right so they're all set up they have all been weathered rather and hopefully this will be in camera um They've all been weathered. They've all been heat stained here at the emitter because the emitter is steel, so weathered all the way through. They all have the crystal chamber add-on right here. So this is a crystal chamber that I designed myself. They all have these. I weathered them all so that they match the weathering of the saber. They all have a main crystal chamber right here. Um, there's a 10 pixel accent strip right here. They're all two button setups. So the front being power, the back being auxiliary right underneath this clamp uh, card right here. They all have an OLED screen with red diffusion in front of them. Um, of course, the crystal chamber that I pointed out already with its own crystal, an 18 pixel accent strip here, another 18 pixel accent strip here. Your profi board is here, but it is glued down to the shelf. You can access everything from right here. So a 90 degree data cable fits in there perfectly. All right. They all have a kill switch right in front of the board right here. They all have 28 millimeter smugglers outpost elite speakers. And then they all take removable 18650 batteries. These are set up for protected cell batteries or keep power batteries are the ones that I like to use. Uh, this is a keep power battery although it has a sticker off of it. All right, so those are always the batteries I suggest. It does need to be a protected cell, 18650 though. All right, so spring side is gonna be on the same side on all of these. Hopefully you can kind of see that. I have them all lined up the same way. We just put that in there. I do like to cradle 
cradle the chassis, snap the battery in there, come over here and flip the kill switch on. You can see all the LEDs going. You can see Casus logo right here on the OLED screen and that will happen until we boot the Sabre up. And then it goes to my logo. Hopefully that's picking up. All right, and you can see your two crystal chambers. Your accent strips right here in the chassis are wired together. And of course, these are all running KR Sabres V4 Eco Pixels for the blade connector. All right, so that's what the chassis looks like outside of the handle. Each one of these, we'll put the handle on. I'll show you it fired up and we'll take the handle back off. This is your blade retention right here. So just back this out of the blade socket a little bit. This saber takes a seven eighths inch blade. So let me, let me lock this blade in. Locks in with that guy, hit power. And these are all running the blade style made for this particular sound font by Brian Connor, or so, as some of you know him on the forums, No Slop. Auxiliary. My blade lockup is holding the auxiliary button down and hitting the saber. And of course you can see the LED strips on both sides of the handle. That's what it, those cutouts were meant for. All right. Take the blade out of here. Pop this handle off. Put this handle back over here. We'll turn the saber on. And we'll kill it with the kill switch. So the kill switch is doing what it's supposed to do. All right, you might need a little tool to take the battery out. I'm using the back of my pair of tweezers. And that's that guy. So I went in pretty much some, some good detail on the first one just to explain how they were set up. I won't go into detail on the rest since they are all the same, but we'll just fire up the rest as we go down the line. All right, so we'll grab this one. This one being Dylan's because he had to be different with the chassis. All right, so... <laughs> Pop that in, kill switch. LEDs on both sides of the chassis and the Sabre, OLED screen, crystal chambers. Right, put the handle on. Lock it down, now you can see the LED strips on the handle. Put a blade in this guy too. They all have a soundtrack to play that. I forgot to do, mention it on the first one, but do a long press on the power. All right, do another long press to turn it off, just like that. All right, so take the blade out of this guy. Handle. Kill switch, all right. that one. Let's do this one. strips, right?
kill switch. Okay, we'll go with this one. <laughs> the first one to get that boot up, it is random on all of them though. All right.
Last one. take this handle off, show the kill switch, cut it right there, and we'll pop the battery out. And that is all nine of them. Uh, the only one I know whose belongs to for sure right now is the one for Dylan, um, but that is all nine of them functioning. So let me know guys if you have any questions and uh, I will try my best to get these out to you in the mail by tomorrow. Thanks.